whenever we hear about waiting lines or queuing theory, we are told that the inter-arrival time or the service time follow the exponential distribution. Most of us have very little idea about what this exponential distribution actually is. So the purpose of this video is to talk about that and give some idea on what does it mean when we say that the inter-arrival time and the service time follow exponential distribution. So we're going to simulate and understand this. So let's start um, with the simulation and uh, let's assume that the mean um, uh, arrival rate or mean arrival rate is let's say 10 customers per hour. All right, customers per hour. Or uh, we can say that this is also equal to 10 divided by 60 which should be, yes, you got it right, I think, customers per minute, right? So about one-sixth of a customer a minute. That's the mean arrival rate. So if this is the mean arrival rate, the inter-arrival time, the inter, so if it's 10 customers in an hour, intuitively I know that there is around one customers every six minutes. So let's try to, it's equal to one divided by this number, right? So is 0 0.1 hour. So every 0 0.1 hour I have a customer or um, I can also do equal to this divided by 60 or, or equal to 1 divided by this number which gives me 6 minutes. So every, every 6 minutes on an average I have a new customer. Fine. So let's start with our simulation and um, yeah, try to see what this distribution looks like. So I'm going to simulate, let's say, 200 times. It, it, you can do it any number, okay? A large number is good enough. So I, I put a 1 here, go to series fill. I need to fill it. And I can series fill columns. I need 200 numbers. And say, okay. All right, so I have all the 200 numbers here. Now I prefer this to dragging because it's I find it easier. But even if you drag that 1 and 2 and get 200, you should be fine. Anyways, so now let's let me get my inter-arrival times, okay? Inter-arrival, the simulated values. And the way to simulate these values equal to negative natural logarithm, one minus a random number divided by whatever is my average. I'm, I'm trying to get time in minutes because the six minutes is more intuitive than 0 0.1 hour. And um, since so I'm going to drag it down, I'm going to fix this um, row and um, so yeah, fix the second row and press enter. So in this case, it's about three minutes. Go here, double click, so I get all my times. And uh, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to reduce it to two decimals. Yeah, these are my inter-arrival times. And if I look at my average, simulated average, okay, it should be close to six. Let's see if it is. Is equal to mean of all these numbers. Okay, sorry, the Excel formula is not, it's average. Right, it's very close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Um, paste these numbers, I'm copied these numbers and paste specials that don't keep changing. I'm taking away the simulated formula, so they don't keep changing. I'm going to paste special, okay? Yes, so now the numbers have taken away the formula. Anyways, um, I'm going to try to tell you how the simulation looks like. So I select this entire data and then plot a histogram. I insert and this is the histogram here. And plot. So what we see is, this is what we see is uh, exponential distribution where the low values occur a lot. There's a very high um, frequency of these low values between 0 0.01 to 3.51 minutes. But there are these rare events where uh, customers, the inter-arrival time is also 28 to 31 minutes. So, so if you plot a curve, there'll be a curve like this here which is what the exponential distribution is. So the concept that we talk about in queuing is that most of the times, the inter-arrival times would be very low. In fact, substantially lower than the average value of six minutes. All right, but 
there would also be a few number of times where the inter-arrival time or the service time would be exceptionally large. That's the idea of exponential inter-arrival and service times.